the Bible says in the Gospel of Luke's chapter around the second, second chapter of Luke, that Jesus' family had gone to church in Jerusalem. And when they went back from Jerusalem, they found out that Jesus was missing. And if you're a parent, there's nothing greater than feeling like your child is missing. Their child was not in place. Somebody's in place. And so they looked all over the place trying to find where Jesus was. But the Bible said they concluded that he was not among them. And so they went all the way back to Jerusalem. And when they found him, he was in position. Somebody say position. Uh -huh. He was not in place, but he was in position. I wish I had about 25 people. I hear that the Lord say, this next move is about you being in position. Let me say it to about 20 more people. This next move oh, is going to oh, occur because you are in position. He was not in the crowd, but he was where he needed to be in the core. I wish I had somebody in here. He was not in the crowd. You see, everybody tries to follow the crowd, but I hear God saying, I'm raising up a core that will be dare the odds to stand in position. You matter to God. And the Bible says when they found him in position, amen, he was around doctors and lawyers. Now, now pause for a minute. What is doctors and lawyers listening to a 12 year old? The number 12 is the number of government. Every time God gets ready to do something, amen, praise God, he does it through a 12. He raises up a 12 in order to do it. So when Jesus, being 12 years old, decide to step into the next level of ministry. So your neighbor said, I feel a next level coming. I feel a next level coming. I feel a next level coming. A next level of ministry. He moved from the crowd and he got with the court. Now who was in the court? Doctors and lawyers. Can I talk to you? I hear the Holy Spirit say, tell my people, when you stop looking at other folk and get in position, God says, I'm going to put you in front of folk who are in Position, Lord have mercy. All of 
of a sudden what they said could not be done was immediately erected. And here I hear the Holy Spirit say, you don't know what I'm up to. You don't see what I'm up to. I'm building a wall around you. I'm building a wall around your church. I'm building a wall around your ministry. You get frustrated by the naysayers who can't see the vision. But I want you to, I'm building a wall. Put those blessings again. I'm out of time. 